What's up guys, your boy Eric Rivera here, Fitness Phenom, coming to you guys with another video. Alright, so, New York City, bunch of scaffolding, I did 100 strict form pull-ups on a scaffold. So that bar's a little thicker than your normal pull-up bar, if you know, you know. That being said, strict form pull-ups, emphasis on strict form. I've been pushing this on my Instagram, pushing this basically throughout my entire competitive calisthenics career, um, where pull-ups are done the way they should be done by primarily using your lats right, and your arms to pull yourself up. Full range of motion, so you start in a dead hang position Pull yourself, chin over the bar, and you finish in a dead hang position. No usage of your lower body at all whatsoever to gain momentum to help you get your chin over the bar. Meaning, <clears throat> no kicking. No using your hips, right? So no bending at the hip. We call that breaking of the hips uh, when we coach. So when I coach, no breaking of the hips, no breaking of the knees, meaning no bending of the knees. Again, no kicking, no rowing, which means pushing the bar away, almost like a butterfly style pull up. Uh, essentially just using your upper body. Right? Full range of motion, so the rep starts in the bottom, chin over the bar, ends at the bottom, that is a complete rep. No kicking, no hips, no legs, no feet. Staying nice and tight, maintaining that hollow body position, keeping that core tight. Right? That's the main thing, the main fault I see when people do strict pull-ups or claim to do strict pull-ups, but consciously or subconsciously use their lower bodies to get these strict pull-ups in. Right? So they use their lower body in a way, they kick, they bend at the knee, they break at the hip, etc. None of that. Right? So on to the video. Follow me on the gram, Fitness Phenom21. I post free workouts just about every single day. Um, and then make sure you guys like and subscribe. Strict form pull-ups. My goal was to get it done in under 10 minutes, right? Every rep looking the same. So last rep, 50th rep, 20th rep, looking like the first rep. Smash that subscribe button. Enjoy the video. Let's get it. Let's level up. Thirty. No hips. No knees, no legs, all upper body, all arms, all lats.
35. The key here is to maintain hollow body position, right? but more importantly, keeping everything tight, your core tight, your legs, you got to keep your legs tight, you got to keep your glutes tight, so keeping everything nice and tight. Halfway point coming up. Motion, starting at the bottom, ending at the bottom. Chin over the bar, it's a thick bar too. New York City scaffold, if you know about them, you know. reps in. in the goal is on the third on the 10 minutes
Baby wraps. Indian. Alright y'all, 100 reps, strict form, done on this New York City scaffold. That's a thick bar. For those of you not familiar with the New York City scaffold bars, some of them are thicker than your regular puller bar. No kipping, no using of your legs, no using your hips, no using your feet, no rowing, no pushing the bar away, no little tips and tricks or no tricks or little things that I see people do in order to gain an advantage to get more reps in. Just pure quality, strict form pull-ups. Full range of motion, all the way down, chin over the bar, and then back down. That's a rep right there. All right, so don't finish at the top, you finish at the bottom. Follow me on the Grand Fitness Phenom 21. I post free workouts just about every single day. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to this channel. Right? I'll give you guys more of beautiful New York City. You already know. Let's get it.